Alright, here's how to beat the boar in Wolong Fallen Dynasty. The thing's covered in metal armor, so fire is its weakness. Repeatedly throw fire bolts right from the start to build up and proc fire, so it's burning right from the start. It'll charge, hold guard, and press deflect just before it hits you. When close, it often spins, which is harder to deflect, so it's better to back off to get out of range of that. Again, press deflect just before its charge hits you. It has a few red attacks it can do. When you're about the distance I am, it can do a lunging red attack. If it succeeds, it'll eat you. Look for those two glows that you can see on its tusks right there. Those are the timing keys for when to press deflect. Go to town after every deflect. Get in some strikes before you do the crit, but don't get greedy. Its stun is usually short-lived, so don't take too long before doing the critical strike. While it's getting up, you can do a few light attacks to build spirit. It will often roar to raise its morale. You can deflect the red AoE, but simply holding block will keep you safe. Its leaping attacks can be deflected just as it's about to land. It can do a few in a row, so hold guard and back off to get out of range. This walking red attack can be deflected at the last moment. The precise timing is when the glow happens once it's right over you. See how the glow kind of extends left and right across the screen? When you see that, press deflect. Again, I like doing martial arts, but if you want to build your spirit, stick to light attacks before doing the crit strike. Firebolt is good from afar, Blasting Flare is good up close. Everyone can have at least one of those spells unlocked by this stage, so you can use either or. It will usually charge twice in a row after its health is below half, so always be prepared for the second charge. If you have your Divine Beast Spirit Gauge filled, you can cast it while you're really close to it and it will take off a massive chunk of health. My gauge isn't built up here, and you can't build it from fully empty in this fight, so if you do want to use your Divine Beast, you'll have to farm enemies outside of the boss area before you come in. But really, that's all you need to know to beat this boss. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.